if you go for antenatal checkup, you might go for a test which is called OGTT. OGTT is stand for Oral Glucose Tolerance Test. What is Oral Glucose Tolerance Test? It is a test whereby you need to drink 75 grams of sugars in a 300 ml of water. This test is for to, it's to check your blood sugar level. So how do you do this test? You do this test is by you need to fast about eight to nine hours before this test, and after that you after that you measure your blood sugar level. So your this sugar level is a uh, fasting plasma glucose, and then after you drink, uh, after you drink the sugar drinks, two hours after that, the sugar level will be measured, and then if is, and then these two readings will decide whether you have gestational diabetes mellitus or not so what are the indications for this OGTT test the indications are as least as I have shown here these indications are the risk factor for the lady to develop gestational diabetes mellitus so if you have a family history of diabetes mellitus and yourself have a very obese you are you have recurrent vaginal candidiasis which means that the fungal infections in your vagina occur more, more than two or three times birth weight with more than four kilograms the current abortion or unexplained stillbirth polyhydramnios is are the complications of the fetal if you have a gestational diabetes mellitus so if you have all these uh, criteria you might go for OGTT and if you have a symptoms a risk factor of suggestive or diabetes mellitus such as the symptoms of diabetes mellitus for example the thirst level is increasing you pee more frequently in a day you pee with a more the urine output is more compared to previously during your uh, during your preconception, you might have this other risk factor that may lead you to have OGTT test. And if you have a high glucose level in your urine, more than two occasion, you might also you might as well go for OGTT. So all these indications, either one of these you might go for OGTT, OGTT test done so you if the blood sugar level is you need to have a optimal sugar level for fasting plasma glucose should be less than 5.3 and the blood sugar the random blood sugar should be less than 7.8 if it's the sugar level more than this you might be diagnosed to have gestational you will be diagnosed to have gestational diabetes thank you